Hey everyone, it's Everfrost, and we have some gameplay here. I wanted to make a commentary. We're playing heavy on Barn Blitz, and just running our usual loadout. But while that's going on, I wanted to talk about something that I've been struggling with for the last couple of months, and that is food addiction. Now, most when people think of the word addiction, they usually think about you know drugs and alcohol cigarettes and stuff like that all that like nasty stuff but i wanted to talk about addiction that stems from from food you know we've um we've been dealing with 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 uh covid for the last how like what a year and a half now and because of that like ordering food and stuff has been much much more common much more frequent i find myself buying food online all the time and just waiting for it to show up my door and it's really really unhealthy and the thing is now that we just order food all the time I, I put even less thought into it because like before if if I wanted food I would be like oh well I have to go drive there I have to get into my car I have to go through drive through and whatever and then bring it back home and it's so much effort and it's like dude I, I really want to do that or do I just want to make something at home which is probably going to be healthier for me. But, you know, now with, like, all these services like Grubhub and DoorDash, it's, like, so easy just to be like, oh, I want a hamburger or I want fries. And you just click a button and, it's, and it shows up at your door. And then you eat it and it's all healthy and stuff. But then, you, then you're just kind of, like, eating and eating and you're not thinking about it. And it's, and it's really bad for you. Now, personally, I'm not... A huge fat ass you know I, I'm overweight sure but I'm at a point where it's okay it's not I'm not like you know 300 400 500 pounds I'd be crazy uh, but I am at a point where I'm realizing hey I'm not in the best of shape and I'm not doing myself any favors by ordering online and eating all this food and it's not even just ordering online like Sometimes when I actually do go out and eat, I, I have a, a problem where it's like, oh, I want this, I want that. I end up buying so much food, I eat it all, and then I just feel awful, you know. I feel awful because, A, I just ate all this food that I shouldn't, and then I feel awful because I physically have so much food in me that it's making my stomach hurt. When you're buying the food, you're like, oh, I want this, I want that, and you don't think about it. Because your body just has these cravings and it's painful you know telling your body your body telling you hey i want this stuff i know it's bad for me but i want it and i feel like there are other people out there who probably have the same problem i've been trying to take measures against it i've been trying to watch what i'm eating more the best thing to do is just like not drink soda and stuff like that but you know sometimes you want a fucking good ass cheeseburger you want a cheeseburger with some fries a large coke you know, sometimes you just have those cravings. But there were times where I was eating out like three, four times a week. And it was horrible. You know, I'm not going to tell people that, hey, you shouldn't be eating this. It's bad for you because, you know, every person has to live their life. And and some people like, see, some people are fine with the way they are. You know, they may be overweight, but that doesn't bother them. I personally, you know, am not happy and comfortable you know, if I'm overweight or um, I just don't feel good. I, I feel sluggish. I feel tired. A self-esteem thing. It's, it's also just like being healthier just makes your life better. Which kind of makes me think about all the people who are like genuinely addicted to food and how hard it must be. There are people I know there is a, a thing where people get depressed and emotional and they turn to food as their outlet you know some people just like how some people drink or smoke whenever they're stressed out and that must be awful because like even i even myself i get cravings like that and i don't know what to do i basically have to force myself not to eat um or not to eat out basically like uh i'm sure I'm sure some of you out there must also know what I'm talking about with just having really bad cravings that are bad for you. 
also it, it doesn't even have to be like fast food and stuff like whenever you go to the grocery store and you see all these chips and snacks and uh and you haul them into the cart and you take them home you kind of lock yourself in at that point like you have all these like junk food and snacks in your house and you're like well i can't let them go bad and so you, you force yourself to eat them and all those sugars and fats pile up you know like uh one thing i try to do is i just, just try not to buy any soda whenever i go grocery shopping because i know that i'm going to end up drinking it all and it's going to make me unhealthy I'm sure we all have our different methods of uh, dealing with like cravings and addictions and stuff. Um, personally, when I ever get like a strong addiction, I try to find something to take my mind off of it. I try to either watch, you know, funny videos or play some games I like, or just talk to people. That way, it gets me distracted until I have to eat a proper meal. Because sometimes, if you, if you, what happens? If you're not paying attention, you'll get food, and you'll eat it, but you won't be paying attention while you're eating it. So all the food just goes through you, and you don't even feel full, and yet you've just ingested so many more calories. And then you don't even realize it until, you know, two, three months down the line where you gained another five pounds, and you're like, oh, well, now I'm fucked. Because that, that's what happened to me, like, in the last two months, I gained, like, five pounds, and I felt awful. So I went on, um, I went on a diet and started exercising more, and I was lucky enough to be able to get rid of the five pounds. But I know I'm still like a long way from where I have to go, so still constant struggle. But yeah, all I can recommend is 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 um try to watch what you eat and uh, try to keep stuff more natural. Stay away from like you know sodas and fried food. Um, I mean everybody loves a good burger once in a while but just don't do what i was doing where i was eating three to four times a week that's just terrible for you but yeah if you guys have any like suggestions on how you guys deal with like cravings and overeating let me know in the comments i i appreciate it but i hope you guys all take care and until the next video stay frosty goodbye